Hi guys, it's me again. Well, this is not going to be short, uh, but it won't be long. <laughs> uh, a lot of you have been asking about uh, the CNC machine I keep mentioning. It's one that I built. Uh, it was a, a manual machine um, that I converted to CNC oh, a few years ago um, by adding um, stepping drivers. Uh, so you've got X and Y axis and Z, and there's the the other stepper, I just thought when it's loading, as I say, to give you an idea. The Z axis is in the tower. I took all the old trapezoid threads out, or screw threads. It's all fitted with um, good old uh, Skefco ball screws, and, um, oh, five, five mil per rev. So the accuracy is quite good. And then the controller foil is under there, which I built. And I also built a unit to enable me to use it like a hand machine. There we go. Oh God, let me stay a bit. So I can operate all the axes separately here, or I can program them uh, from G code up here. What I'm just about to do at the moment is just do a few holes in this uh, uh, hot plate to mount some brackets, and I thought, oh, I'll just show a quick video of this. So. Let's just set the, uh, the manual side up and I'll show you a few of the items, if uh, it'll let me. Uh, okay, now at the moment, uh, where are we? I've got the x-axis selected. I'm trying to hold a camera and this thing in my hand at the same time. So I can actually do, uh, use it all manually. So by turning this dial I've got the hand, you can see, if I stand back a bit, the Travis on the, uh, the axis. Um, and also, if you now look up at the software, you can see the axis is also moved from there. Uh, likewise, I can now select uh, the y-axis, if I can just get my hand on it, I've got to be careful, I don't think it's silly yet. Okay, and that's the y-axis. Um, what I've actually got to do is just move this, you can see your line up roughly, it's coming a bit. Then we want to move up. Uh, where are we? I'm only going to do this very roughly, it's, it's not... Uh, I shan't do it, I'm only doing this to show you guys. Uh, I need to be a little bit more careful when I'm doing this thing. Right. And then your Z-axis. When you consider the weight of the head on there, it's quite amazing how this thing... Just throws it about, mind you, it's got a fair size step on it. So, as I say, all this can be programmed to just, you know, to make whatever. I use it for making uh, boards for building hand-built amplifiers with it. it's the um, pegboards. But there you go. So, just a quick video. Um, oh yeah, and the other one, the mill, uh, that's the mill, the lathe. This is a box, it's an old one, which used to run on a BBC Micro. Um, I'm halfway through converting it, I've just got a few steppers up there to fit. And as I say, back around the room, this works on a similar principle, this is that pace. Um, you've got stepper drivers which drive the uh, Z-axis, which is the heater. Uh, if I go back around this side, which is down at the moment. So basically, it'll touch off itself, it finds the top of the chip. Um, it'll heat it and then it's got a vacuum tube which comes down, grabs it and pulls it out. I'll try and show you and explain a bit more about that once it's all working. Alright, I'm about to get on the smoke. So, possibly might be live later. Um, I've got to change uh, GL, is it 3520? Um, USB pub on a PS4. But anyway, we'll see.